good youtube was good my good people we are back with yet another video be sure to hit the like button before the video starts man so we can get in the algorithm um it do hopes when you do hit the like button so be sure to do that we got a bunch of good clips for today so uh stay tuned buckle up grab the snacks do whatever you gotta do man and uh um, let's get right into this thing look at that Y'all see that? I noticed they were doing this early, the rising of the solar eclipse. A lot of planes were flying through the sky. But how is the plane going to fly between the a fake moon? It's fake moon, which everybody should know as a black sun now, and this simulated sun. So you're going to tell me this plane is going to fly between them two, right? But the sun is supposed to be 93 million miles away. Y'all right. see that, right? And you can also see the solar flares coming off the sun here. But look at that, y'all. How is that possible? It looks like there was something. How is the plane flying between these two? That makes no sense, y'all. Man, I told y'all the sky is not really what we think it is, man. That's just crazy. As a right perception going on because we can't even see what's going on in the sky right now. The whole sky is blanketed, it's raining, it's pouring. Apparently the sun is still eclipsed and we are still in the three days of darkness, you guys. So I don't know what this is all about, but we're gonna see in a few days. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning in my free it affects your consciousness the food they serve the colors that they use the materials of the floor so for example they do their best to avoid uh, 90 degree angles the reason is when you have to make a sharp right turn in the hallway you now have to make a conscious decision to turn all the way right where if something is curved you make no conscious decision you walk with the curve so when there's a sharp right angle you now have to consciously say i am fully turning right and walking away which then leads your conscious mind or your subconscious into your conscious to make that decision and then you can also make the decision to keep walking and leave the building that makes so much sense they pump stuff in the air, they, the, the extra oxygen, they keep it a certain temperature, keeps you awake, keeps you alert, keeps you fueled. All, bro, it's endless, endless, endless. I was Damn. a guy, when I was in business, I thought about those things, which is what helped me. When I got into the casino thing, I was aware of those things right away. I go, I know that trick. I've seen that move before. Another thing is the Las Vegas Strip was designed so you can walk from one end to the other without ever having to go outside. Well, that is crazy, that. Well, I thought it was just because it was dope. You can just slide through all the stores and get the food. No, they're trying to keep your keep consciousness. They're trying to keep your vibe control. Dude, what a crazy thing it affects your consciousness the food they serve the colors that they use the materials of the floor so for example they do their best to avoid mm. 90 degree angles that's interesting right and they got everything set up and it's supposed to be affecting your consciousness it's interesting that's probably what's going on though right mm. it's probably why some people can't leave the casino too you know that that's how they probably make their money a lot of their money for in order to get artists together i suppose you don't understand when we watch you from from new york you're bigger than life to us i said so the million and a half dollars yeah you can do that but it don't matter because the new york fit baseball cap is how much retail that's 25 25 dollars right yeah. i said puff it on your head it's priceless. Mm. I said, now watch this. And I play pong, pong, ping, pong, 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 Black Panther predicted the soon to be interaction with us with these higher advanced beings. Check out the ending. Mm, okay. Okay. Coachella for Disneyland. Why here? This is where our father killed our uncle. <laughs> mm. 
They're tearing it down. Good. Yeah, I'm not tearing it down. I bought this building. And that building. That one over there. This will be the first Wakanda International Outreach Center. Nakia will oversee the social outreach. Oh my god. You're kidding. Yeah? From eBay. Black Panther predicted the soon to be interaction with us. You got a point, man. You got a point. This could be something that could happen. But, you know, question everything. Man. I don't just believe everything you see, but that could happen. It's possible. Uh-oh. Let's see what this robot about to say. The craziness this robot about to say. Design itself? Huh? That's like asking when a toaster will start making its own bread. AI is a tool created and controlled by humans. It can optimize certain aspects of its operation, sure. But design itself from scratch? That's a whole different ball game. It requires creativity, innovation, understanding, qualities that are uniquely human. So to answer your question, not anytime soon. And frankly, be careful what you wish for. An AI that can design itself is one step away from an AI that doesn't need humans at all. Now there's a thought to keep you up at night. <laughs> Let me, uh, focus, Amica, when do you believe AI will... That is true. Be careful what you wish for. That is true. I don't think we, yeah, I don't think we'll ever get to that point, though. Like we just really got robots, and we, you know, we live in like, you know, that one movie with Will Smith. We got robots in our house, cooking for us, doing stuff. But do y'all honestly think we'll get to that point? It's possible. It's definitely possible, but no. Like seeing these objects this close is so interesting. That's how I really look. Pomegranate? Oh, man. Man, he dang, he almost poked himself. How many of y'all ever had pomegranate? Pomegranate? Man, that is a good fruit right there, for real. That's weird seeing stuff like this close. Interesting. Undeniable evidence that we do live under a dome or the firmament. Now, first of all, why is it that every single ancient culture and society all depicted the dome and the flat earth, even the Masons did that? Here's us. 
Here's the Egyptians' depiction. The blue sky, the firmament, and the stars on the firmament. Here's the Hebrew, and I want you to take note of this. Waters above the firmament. Here's a real close-up of the stars. This is what a real close-up of stars look like under a Nikon 9000, the most powerful camera in the world. Does that look familiar to you? Waters above the firmament? Quotes in the Bible about the firmament. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were on top of the firmament. Genesis 1-7. Why is it when you point a camera at the North Star, they always do perfect circles? If we're really doing this, then you should see the stars do all sorts of crazy patterns, not perfect circles. That's because the stars are moving and we are stationary. Look how cap this shit is. Where's the fucking stars? I got so much more evidence. If you want a part two, let me know. And I'm going to tell you in the comments what the elites benefit from keeping this a secret. Peace. Right here, right here. Watch here. Watch the wall. Who's that? Right here, right here. Watch here. Watch the wall. Something nobody can explain to this day. Watch the video yourself. But can you figure it out? Save this video and let me know in the comments if you catch it on the first watch. What did you see? Something Seems nobody like, can explain to this like day. Watch the I video don't see yourself. That, Just when you thought you've seen it all, you come across another fruit or vegetable that's been made. These have been made. Are these lemonade apples? Meet your new favorite apple. It's telling you right here. Go to lemonadeapple.com, man. Alright, go ahead, go ahead. Alright, what is it at? What is that? Oh yeah, that's some good stuff. Hello. Oh, Dinner time. Tonight on the menu we got peas, tortellini. Open this puppy up. Say less. You know it was a good day in basic training when you got the M&Ms. Even though they expired as shit. Yeah, baby. 1738. What? On the menu we have got some pretzels. Some pretzels. Lemon lime, hydrated beverage powder. We got some crackers. Chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate peanut butter spread. Mm. For right dessert, a little treat put aside. Vanilla pudding. Yes. <laughs> no, Starbucks ain't got nothing on this. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Is this all they eat in the military, though? But that's all they can eat is stuff like this. You, know, you can't get no Uber Eats, none of that. Like, dang. That's tough. There we go. No, I'm not gonna tell you. Hey. You put the water in there from your trusty camel pack. Backpack. Guess what? I'm gonna scoop from here. No! Hey. Smack it around like that. And now we wait. Yummy. Now, okay. time to open. Chef Boyard Yum. So she don't go <laughs> what are you eating? We got the beef taco. That's it. Cool. What do you got? Tortellini. Mm. What are you eating? Oatmeal cookie right now. That's it. Nice. Too bad. What we got? I had a tortellini. Oh, nice. What you working on? Chicken burrito. Mm. What are you eating? Dried cranberries. Mm. What are you eating? Two-year-old Twizzlers. <laughs> Best MRE 
chili mac. Let's see what's inside. Vanilla pound cake. Pound cake. Pretty moist. Fruit punch. Carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder. Cheese spread with jalapenos. We got vegetable crackers as well. Can never go wrong with a beef teriyaki stick. Whizzler nibs. Main entree, chili mac. Mm. Just made a trade, some peanut butter, bread, and jelly. Mm. Alright, go ahead, go ahead. Have you ever tried military food? I know somebody have. Uh, come on, man. Where did the moon come from? The moon has something to do with resetting your consciousness. It's like fallen angel technology. Imagine being a fish inside a fish bowl and you're fishing around with your fish friends and someone comes up and taps the glass and you're sitting there with your fish buddies like, are you seeing this? What is this? What is this thing in front of me? It's beyond our comprehension. And it's because we have a lack of information. I would love to be able to know things, but I can only create a perspective with what I'm given, which is why I live in a state of knowing and not in a state of belief. Having beliefs is detrimental to your reality that's why if you believe in jesus if you believe in a religion if you're following a religion i follow what i know that's why i can construct my reality but if you're living in an element of belief it's not real it's not tangible that's detrimental to your reality because whoever gives you your beliefs and concepts dictate your actions and that's a law that's a divine law a divine law is the law of awareness no action will come from a non-belief if you do not believe in it no action will come from it so if you do not believe in something who's creating your actions and beliefs that's why people's becomings are not their own that's why i talk about the whole pronoun thing if you have pronouns in your your bio you're a victim where did the moon come from the moon has something not gonna lie the moon is something kind of strange some days is there some days is not it was really organic right when it is show every day like the sun the sun comes up every day ain't no missing no days with the sun unless they cover it up that's covering up the sky so is the moon really real? What do y'all think, man? It could be something about this. Something about that moon. I don't know, man. Eternity on information in one book. Shouldn't you know everything about it? Shouldn't you know how to break it down left and right? Shouldn't you be going in to figure out what are the previous languages it was in and checking that out and looking for those translations and going back even further than that? And once you begin to do that, you end up where? You end up at the Sumerian tablets, the Mahabharata, the Bhagavad Gita, the Indian Vedas, the Epic of Gilgamesh. You end up at the uh, the Egyptian book of going forth by day, the Tibetan book of the dead. I mean, you end up at all these texts that are already here. And it's like, wow, this really did the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. This comes out of here. But I see now I can discern where the information was skewed. All of a sudden now, where Thoth is talking about seeking the light and getting the light, the same words of Yeshua in the modern-day Bible, they throw a little sentence in there. Oh, by the way, you should obey your slave master as you obey me. You know, Yeshua, he's not running around telling people to obey slave masters. I mean, come on. At some point, people have to wake up and realize this information has been added for the purpose of control and domination, but they are. And so what's good about it is gradually people are finding these texts because we've been talking about them shows like yours shows like mine and many others and they're starting to ask questions that can't be answered or don't want to be answered and now they're saying you know what let me pull back and let me start doing some more research for myself so what i love about this whole platform and what we've been doing we are creating researchers which is what we want i don't want people to take me for my word i want you to write take notes on what i'm saying i want you to go back play this video over and over again and start searching for these things and come up with your own understanding. And I guarantee one thing, it'll be slightly different than the dogma understanding you probably had at the moment you started researching. If you're gonna base your entire- You got a point too, like, don't just, you know what I'm saying, take what he's saying, it's research too. You gotta do that, man. You might come up with your own opinion too, so. If a bee flies up to you, please do not swat it away. It's flying up because it's trying to say, hey, treat it like me and you promise you say. Without bees, there wouldn't be flowers or trees. So please, Facts. just show some respect. You will be dead. Shout out to the bees. Take a breath. There wouldn't be nothing on this earth left. If you see bees, abundance is coming. I'm getting a track card that's black and yellow. Bees also symbolize working together. Teamwork made a dream work. Accomplish it better.
You gotta take care of your queen bee. What I heard a whole hive gonna fall. Bees are spiritual beings, not bugs. If I could, I would give bees a hug. Raw bee honey, healthy as fuck. It's full of nutrients and antioxidants. It's also antibacterial. Clean your wounds if you bleed it, honey, stop it. Coming with bees you seeing. Is it a honeybee or is it carpenter? Was it a little or was it a lot of them? If they fly up to you, please do not swatter them. If a bee flies up to you, please do not swatter them. Shout out to the bees, man. For real. Cause them flowers will not be doing what it's doing without them bees. Everyone is searching for these two men right now after they went to Lake Mead National Park and started to destroy boulders and rocks out of nowhere. Why? What's the point? They just said, okay, today we're going to just throw all these rocks. Yeah. What's the point? And right now, authorities say they have zero leads. But this man right here who has a daughter standing off to the side and this rather large gentleman who's his sidekick decided to take these rocks and boulders for no reason. Because when you can look at this, neither of these guys are in danger. Neither of them are being pinned down. They're just pushing these rocks off just to be jerks. They're asking for help finding this large gentleman in the red shirt with the green sunglasses. And then also this guy with the black shirt and the jeans. As you can see again, this man is standing here perfectly safe. His daughter is up there at the top, perfectly safe. And this guy, there's nothing wrong with this guy except he's a jerk. And they're pushing these rocks off, ultimately destroying history for no reason at all. So if anyone out there has any information about these guys, please call the Nevada State Police immediately. Everyone is searching for these two men right now after they- Yeah, who is filming them? Somebody in the comments said, who's filming them? Who's filming them? That, that's a good question. They're not saying anything, they're just recording. This is insane. Starting on March 11, Biden has officially made side hustles illegal, which has now impacted over 80 million Americans. The so-called gig economy is about Excuse to get me? a big makeover. The Labor Department announcing a new rule Tuesday that could see millions of American workers reclassified from independent contractors to regular employees, a step aimed at boosting legal protections and incomes. This is one of President Biden's most important priorities, which is to make sure that one job is enough to, to sustain a family. If you notice, she mentions how Biden wants to be able to make you have one job so that you can pay off all your bills but how is this even possible when the minimum wage in the united states is already seven dollars and 25 cents and some jobs may pay you from 15 to 18 dollars an hour minus tax and if you have looked at the prices lately everything has completely skyrocketed now if you ask me this man is obviously worried about all the wrong things but i don't know you guys let me know what you think and if you agree this is insane you guys, oh my God, watch this. So Walmart, because a overwhelming amount of people stealing, Who they cares? have now decided to make self-checkout uh -huh. a subscription service. So you will no longer be able to self-checkout at Walmart. But there's something interesting, and I know a lot of you guys have seen this video here on TikTok. There's something very interesting that's getting ready to transpire in the coming days. Someone has said that they are no longer going to support Walmart and the way they're going to leverage that that plan is to never shop there again. But it's, it's bigger than that. They're going to put in a stock option a put against Walmart. And they said if everybody the same thing you did to Kellogg's, the same thing you did to GameStop, the same thing you did to these. It's, it's, it's a it's a, uh, a way for Theoretically, you know that if everybody stops supporting Walmart, their stock will plummet. But when their stock plummets, everyone who put a, a put in against it will make money. So anyone who understands how that works, if you're interested in, in I, I, I might I might stitch that video later on today or I'll put it here in this video somehow. But anyone interested in, in, in doing stock options and this is not financial advice. You can go to the link in my bio and there's a thing called Webull. On Webull, you can put in a put against any company. I know you guys seen the video that I had, had up here against Carvana where Amazon was, was getting ready to open up car dealerships, therefore causing anyone who who uh, sells vehicles online like Carvana or what's the other one, CarMax, for their, their stock to plummet. And everybody who understood that, they came up hardcore. So... 
This is not financial advice, but if you understand what's going on, go to link my bio, sign up on Webull, and from there you can do stock option trading. And I believe everyone is going to stop supporting Walmart in the coming days. Peace and love and deuces. You guys, oh my I don't, God. I don't Watch know this. about that because a lot of people like Walmart, so I don't know. A secret article on the dark web shows that bodies are being preserved for rean shows that bodies are being preserved for reanimation. Asking kids in 1966 what they thought the year 2000 would look like, their answers are probably not what you expect. First of all, this computers are taking over now. Computers and automation. And in the year 2000, there just won't, won't be enough jobs to go around. And the only jobs there will be will be for people with high HQ, you know, high IQ who can work computers and um, people will be regarded more as statistics and as actual people. All these atomic bombs will be dropping around the place. Or if something's gone wrong with their nuclear bombs, I may be sort of coming back from hunting in a cave. There will be wars, all nuclear explosions and everything to make the Earth, you know, too much radiation on it. It'll become too hot to live on. I think that there'll be no life at all, really, on, on the Earth. And then the whole world will just melt and the world will become one vast atomic explosion. Because the sun, I think, will probably burn out. And there's an ice cap coming down from the North Pole. I think it'll cover the Earth. It might have another ice age. Some mad will get the atomic bomb and um, just blow the world into oblivion. There's nothing we can do to stop it. The more people who get bombs, the more well, somebody's going to use it one day. I think the population will have gone up so much that um, either everyone will be living in sort of big domes on the Sahara or they'll be under sea. So many people that they have to have an overflow into the sea. And so there'll be houses underneath the sea and houses above the sea. They're not going to have so many square houses, you know, that look more curves and artistic. People can't live, in, wouldn't be able to live in ordinary houses because that would take up too much room. It'd have to be in flats piled on top of one another. I think I'll probably be the spaceships and the moon dictating robots to robots. Well, I don't like the idea of sort of getting out and finding you've got a cabbage pill to eat for breakfast or something. But I think that there is going to be all this automation. People are going to be out of work and a great population. I think something has to be done about it. I, that's, if I wasn't a biologist, I, that's what I'd like to do, um, to do something about the, the uh, population problem. Try and try and sort of um, temper it somehow. I don't know how. It's going to be very boring. And I don't think there's anything to be frightened of. And lots of people think it's going to explode, but I'm certain it won't. Um, I think it'll be much more efficient. Because um, there'll be more cures for the diseases. And not so many people will get sick. And the black people, you know, won't be sort of separate. They'll be all mixed in with the white people. I'm not looking forward to living in that year, about 50 years' time. I mean... The world seems to be in such a terrible state now, let alone in 50 years' time. Asking kids in 1966 mm. what they thought the year 2000 would look like, they're... Five reasons the rich don't talk to the poor. One, the rich take action first and talk later. The poor talk about taking action but never do it. Two, the rich surround themselves with like-minded people. You're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Three, the rich talk about vision, the poor gossip about people. Four, the rich focus on having their money make more money, the poor focus on exchanging their time for money. Five, the rich are proactive, the poor are reactive, the rich prepare for problems in the future, the poor do nothing and complain later. If you're serious about changing your life, join the Valergy Movement. This is what it actually means to be religious. Religion is not about control, dogma, or forcing your beliefs on other people. All religion is, is a system. When you go to CERN, right outside the front door is... You must talk about this ASAP. There's been a massive amount of conspiracy talk about the Grand Canyon being the actual path to Africa. And what's crazy is, I just took a trip to Las Vegas. Y'all see, I haven't even been on the app. When we flew over the Grand Canyon, I had the same exact thought. Then I got on TikTok and I like seen Africa. this. These might be the.
First you have Pangea. Now if you zoom in on the map, you see the United States, right? And then you see Africa right next to it. North America, Africa. This goes right along with me and my brother's Ron Spiracy theory that all the Area 51s across the globe were connected in Pangea and when we separated those portals allow everything to connect between us and the Earth and dimensional travel. Like the Grand Canyon, Pyramids in Egypt, Stonehenge, I mean all these places with these unique locations and meanings. It's looking like the Grand Canyon just may be part of that. Conspiracy starts to get really interesting. So the Grand Canyon has six no-fly zones. And also you have parts of the canyon which you can't explore without executive supervision. I think this may be because they're hiding ancient history. 1909, G.E. Kincaid went on a grand exploration through the Colorado River, where he came across and discovered caves such as the one behind me. They're not natural caves, they were hard carved caves. Carr said that this cave alone contained mummies, hieroglyphic writings all throughout the caves, war weapons, and copper instruments that were sharp as steel. The craziest thing about it is that he said these caves could hold up to 50,000 people. So you can only imagine how advanced this cave actually was, especially for the time period he discovered it in 1909. But hey, it just might be a coincidence or just a conspiracy or something. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments about the Grand Canyon. I really, I really want to go there one day, though, to the Grand Canyon. Everybody, I feel like everybody should get a chance to go there restricted area of the canyon there are pyramids and caves adorned with hieroglyphics and egyptian artifacts this discovery if true is mind-blowing what adds to the mystery is the claim that authorities have deliberately kept this knowledge hidden for almost a century to maintain secrecy the airspace over this specific area is even restricted the secrecy surrounding the findings raises even more questions about what might truly lie within the depths of the grand canyon Exploring the area around the pyramid and cave in the Grand Canyon is no easy task. While it's technically legal to visit, it poses significant risks due to its treacherous nature. Despite these obstacles, people continue to venture into this section of the canyon, driven by a desire to uncover its secrets. Unfortunately, over the years, many individuals have been arrested, and some have even lost their lives while attempting to reach these sacred sites. One particularly noteworthy discovery in the Grand Canyon is a cave known as Kincaid's Cave, named after the first explorer who ventured inside. G. E. Kincaid, a former Marine turned archaeologist, restricted area of the canyon. Mm. There are pyramids and caves adorned. That's crazy. People are losing their lives. Mm. That's crazy. Did you ever hear about the Grand Canyon theory? No. So, the Grand Canyon, okay. one of the world's wonders. There's a theory that the Grand Canyon holds something that none of us knew was there. So, back in the 1850s, right? Yeah. The Grand Canyon was used to mine gold. When people started mining it, the gold index crashed because they found so much gold there. Okay. Now, what happened was the government and the military they closed it off and they made it a sanctuary so that nobody can just go there and then take whatever they want there was this one guy his name was seth tanner okay. and he was an explorer he explored this one cave and he claims what he saw yeah. was ancient egyptian hieroglyphics in one of the caves oh what did it say the grand canyon it actually holds the lost city of El Dorado. What? Like, the you know, the, the lost gold city of El Dorado. Yeah, the whole city. The there. whole city. So if you think about it, it's never found. That, that ancient tale that all of the natives talk about, yeah. the lost city. And the reason the government and the world is trying to keep it a secret yeah. is because it would crash the gold price. Did you ever hear mm -hmm. about the Grand Canyon theory? Y'all, like, y'all believe gold is real, right? Gold is definitely real. I just don't know, like, what, what would we really find it at, though? Could gold really be in the Grand Canyon? You know what I'm saying? First question was, what is death, and why are so many people become scared of it? Yeah. It is said, and even in the book, Dion Fortune's book, that through the gates of death, that the Western man is the only person that ever lived that did not understand death. You see, now it's interesting here, so the mystery here is 
they were prepared for they weren't prepared for death because of the simple fact the first culture as them being a civilized people they were handed religion modern religion let's right. put it that way okay which basically is moral mundane inspirational um ceremony which has no room to teach about death because the whole plot is to lock you down in a series of fear mm -hmm. okay. to even be ruled by these religions so therefore mm -hmm. if you're gonna have fear you gotta have a place this dismal a boogeyman type of zone that uh -huh. no one wants to go to right. that will put them on lockdown right. to even want to deal with the religion so therefore <laughs> The, the, the other world has to be the scapegoat. Right. Oh, God. Mm. It has to be the forbidden. First question was, what is death and why are so many people become scared of it? Yeah. What'd you say, say? I found a bad girl. It, her name is Faith. It's tough. Tonight, maybe even do some of uh, your own inspections. A Chandler family finding a hidden camera and recording system inside their home. ABC 15's Kim Tobin has their story tonight. And Kim, where was it hiding? The guest bathroom in an air conditioning vent with cords leading up to the attic. The family actually found it when they were trying to get more air flowing. And get this, they'd already been renting this home for four years. Violated <laughs> is the word this family keeps using. Hey guys, if you don't want this happening to you, grab yourself one of these. When you go on vacation to an Airbnb or a hotel, it can detect any EMF waves, so anything that might be connected to the internet, and you can use the infrared light to search for any cameras. So I'm gonna show you how it works. So obviously my phone gives off EMF, so it should be beeping. Once you're close enough to something, pull out this light, and if there's a camera, you'll see a little flicker of light. If you wanna get one on sale, it'll be linked below. Tonight, maybe even do some of uh, your own inspections. That's interesting. Cause it could be like a cow in, in your house right now. You wouldn't even know. Look at this, y'all. Look, the road is completely cracked in half. This is in Australia. Now, the weird thing about it is this guy is looking in the water and he sees millions of tiny little fishes. But this is the desert in Australia, y'all. Yeah, the ground is cracked. Check this out, y'all. Can people see this? Look at this. Look at the amount of fish nets, millions and millions. This is like, where did, where did he come from? Exactly, he's in the desert. Let me go to the sirens. The desert. And this is, they're trying to get up. That's the fish there, look. Look at the fishes. How do you have fishes in the middle of the desert? Hmm? Oh man, the water is coming up. They've been telling us to watch water. Look at the fish going across. They're going to the other side. Man, everything is changing. Saudi Arabia has changed. Now Australia is going through a change too. Look at all that water. Look at the birds. Look at the birds. Man, they're going for food. <laughs> but what is going on, y'all? The road is literally cut. Y'all, it's cracked. So, yeah, man. Things are getting a lot interesting. But do you guys see the changes that the planet is going through? Fishes under the desert? Wow. All I know is Age of Aquarius is not about that talk no more. It's literally showing us what's up. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, share for more videos like this. Keep up with me on my other accounts, especially on my YouTube, where I go deeper on an esoteric level at these topics at hand. Thank you for Yeah, I definitely, definitely has some changes coming. I ain't never seen nothing like that. That's crazy. This is on a, on a desert? On a desert. That's crazy. Crime 
I'm saying? Really? This is a mall. A mall. Trying to figure. Man, they need to remake this mall. Oh, messed up, man. You look messed up and old. Super old. How many of y'all going in that mall for and stay in that mall for like a, a night? I know I, I don't know about that. Like you gotta sleep right there on the on the floor somewhere. How many could y'all do that? Let me know. What do you think? That's so real though. They always put the truth in the cartoons. Y'all, I think I know what CERN was doing while this eclipse was happening. Do you see this? There is so many different videos and footage of demons flying by the sun. I'm about to show you another one in a minute. I'm going to slow it down right here. What is that? And then there was this one. Mm. And there's so many more. And if y'all really don't want to act like demons don't exist, there was a rumor that CERN was haunted after their first time powering up. And then as of lately, they say they found a 4D ghost in the CERN particle accelerator. AKA, they found a demon, another entity above our dimension. For anybody saying it's a rocket, you are completely fooling yourself. You are fooling yourself. And here is that one going back and forth. Look at that. That is insane, y'all. So does anyone want to tell me what all these demons were doing? Maybe this is why they brought up the demon face. Alright, this is sad. Alright, this lady went on vacation. Left her baby, like, what? Are you serious? Lady? Are you serious? A baby has died after being left alone while her mother vacationed in Puerto Wait, Rico, what? detectives say. With no food, maybe milk, the clothing she had on, and the diaper she was wearing. Police in Cleveland, Ohio say the 16-month-old had been left in her crib for 11 days. This baby loved her mother, she needed her mother, and her mother betrayed her. The baby's mother, Crystal Candelario, has been sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for her actions. This is probably one of the most difficult, horrific cases to listen to, to hear, and to see. At Candelario's sentencing, she spoke using a translator. Le pido perdón a Dios y a mi hija. I ask forgiveness from God and from my daughter, Jaylee. Her defense attorney believes mental health played a factor in her decisions. You committed the ultimate act of betrayal, leaving your baby terrified, alone, unprotected, to suffer what I heard was the most gruesome death imaginable, with no food, no water, no protection, and lying in her own feces. You decided you needed a vacation. You left your baby, Jalen, trapped in a pack and play without food and water for 10 days. I'm going to sentence you to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Wow. You committed the ultimate act of uh, betrayal, leaving your... Like a part of me feel bad, but she did what she did, man. So it's like she kind of do deserve that. Dang, life in prison. It's tough. Dubai was just hit with the record rainfall that ended up flooding their entire city. And a lot of the footage that's coming out, you can see that airports, residential areas, and malls are about knee deep in water. And as a result, they've already canceled over 40 flights, told federal workers to work from home, and closed down multiple schools in the UAE. Now Dubai reportedly got about a year's worth of rain in only a day. 
but what's interesting is how they got so much rain in the first place all apparently right. part of the blame for all That's the crazy. flooding was due to a weather modification tactic that dubai was using called cloud seeding to keep a long story short cloud seeding is when a seeding agent such as silver iodide or sodium chloride is sprayed from a plane into clouds to increase or decrease artificially the amount of snow rain or hail that we may get in a general area and for a while, a lot of people did not know that it was possible to artificially increase or decrease the amount of rain that we got. Most people thought that it was just some sort of crazy conspiracy or flat out impossible. In reality, Dubai has been using cloud seeding <laughs> techniques since 2002 and cloud seeding in general all over the world has been known about since the 1940s. Dubai was just hit with the record. Y'all, this is Dubai right now. Dubai is flooding because of cloud seeding. Crucial. Because of cloud seeding. Get that in mind. Weather control. And cloud seeding has been around for 60 years. And I believe Dubai just recently started to initiate cloud seeding. But it leads to this, it leads to a flood. Tweaking. Tweaking. If this was to happen in the U.S., people would absolutely tweak, especially if they knew it was due to cloud seeding. Crucial. It says right here, the process involves seeding existing clouds with a harmless substance called silver iodide to give water droplets a particle to converge around, allowing them to form an ice. Basically, cloud seeding is another form of chemtrails literally it's the same thing almost an aircraft injects silver iodide or other substances into the atmosphere and the chemicals mimic the particles that serve as surfaces for condensation that creates water droplets once the condensation creates water droplets that are large enough the <laughs> rain will fall and it says up here that cloud seeding has been in use since the 1940s Meaning weather control, cloud seeding is basically weather control. Imagine all the other stuff they have. Y'all, this is Dubai yep. right now. Imagine all the other stuff they got. Right. They really are here cloud seeding. Black nation is not a color. Black nation is not a color. It's a frequency. Black nation is not a color. It's a God frequency. They know that you are God, my brother. What they call God. They know that's who you are. See, that's why even when this person, when they say name Jesus, what he tell his disciples? The kingdom is within you. He's telling you God is within you. So you're looking for a place up in the sky that you're going to go to. No, God is within you. Indeed. They're telling you about this devil. Who is devil? You ever seen one? No, you can be a devil and you can be a God. Because Indeed. you decide, you are the one who determines oh, well. if I do wrong or I do right. Mm -hmm. You are the duality that decides. Not a person standing on your right shoulder or your left shoulder. That is all right. a bunch of bullshit. Right, right. Excuse my French. But what I'm saying to you is, we have to come into ourselves. Blackness is not a color. It's a frequency. It's a God frequency. How did they even make this? This guy shows how during the Egyptian times they made this way to communicate from far away using this hole in the wall. See here, be calm. You can put your foot here, not here. Yeah? Like okay. Okay. I will be there. Okay. Yeah, it's very far away. Here? What's your ear here? Okay. This is where he is about to hear the guy that walked away speaking to him from what seemed like about 30 meters away. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. This is amazing. How are they doing? <laughs> I can hear you. Wow, that's amazing. Do you think that this could potentially work if it was miles away? Let me know your thoughts on this. How did they even make this? This guy shows how it's kind of crazy. That's I don't think it worked. Who did that? I ain't gonna lie to you. But dang, that's kind of cool. So this is part of how they communicated. 
back then or maybe they use something else to communicate because they probably didn't have phones you know they definitely didn't have phones so that's interesting let me see this this ball you i can't walk past this snake i can't walk whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn. damn we catch ourselves a baby hammerhead look at him <laughs> that dog do that snake way over there Man. So cool. Yeah. Why he like some um, Superman dog? Super dog or something. That was not a gorilla. Ain't no way. Is he alive even? Oh, he's pissed. He looks like you. I can't walk past this. Dubai is completely underwater after they got a year's worth of rain in just one day with all flights leaving being canceled and people walking around in flooded malls. When you go on to Snap right now and look at the Snap map, there are people riding jet skis in the street of Dubai because of how much rain has fallen what? in one day. Also, this is That's what it looks like crazy. when planes are trying to take off. It is literally impossible for planes to even go anywhere because of the massive amount of rain on the tarmac. And wow, according to official tough. news sources, a year's worth of rain. Like has imagine fallen. you went you tried to go to Dubai, you know what I'm saying? Have a good time. And then that happened. That's tough. On Dubai in just one day, roads turned into rivers and water went into every business imaginable, with the tarmacs being completely shut down and nobody able to fly in or out now. Airports ceased operations for nearly half an hour on Tuesday as they continue to be significantly disrupted. There is a major flooding on access roads around Dubai leading to the airport. And my friend, the crypto network is stranded in Dubai right now. I'm trying to mail him out some water floaties, so hopefully he can be safe. But let me know what you guys think about this. And we milk has calcium. Well, I stopped drinking milk 42 years ago. And I could fall on my knees. Moringa? Mm. Moringa has 23 times the iron in spinach. Spinach has iron? No, because spinach, anything that has a pH of 7 plus, is alkali. Anything that has less, five, four, three, two, one, is acid. Spinach. Acid. Why compare Moringa with spinach? When spinach has a starch base, it has no iron. Seven times the calcium in milk. Milk has calcium. Well, I stopped drinking milk. The way he fell on his knees. 42 though. years ago. And he I could fall on my that. knees. You drink milk with Moringa, because they said to mix it with making some pages hair. You're not going to fall on your knees at 73. You, you're going to leave your knees down there. <laughs> 11 times man that's crazy man my boy really fell on his knees at 73 and got right back up like it was nothing another thing you gotta get out of this whole shit here uh the universe the universe gonna take the universe is a cold vast graveyard of all kind of fucked up images out there some bad, some good, some of your enemy. So when you say universe, you give everything over to that. You got to be specific mm. of what you're talking about. You see what I'm saying? And whenever you say Jesus, the white man's 
Pastor, you might want to shoot him in the head now because he don't understand the concept. Because whatever it was, it is something that we contrived based on their ancient messianic uh, um, science and we changed it to fit our European rule. So when you say, I, I, uh, you say uh, I'm a man of God and I'm going to leave it all up to God. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying like that? Then you might as well go ahead and shoot him in the head. That's why they shot Father King in the head. All that spirituality couldn't keep him alive. Mm. And fish under the microscope. I'm gonna mute this because copyright. Let's see though. <laughs> let's see, let's see. I know they got boogers, worms, all type of junk. Ugh. I didn't even know canned fish was a thing. I mean, I knew that, but like, I haven't seen canned fish in a minute. But like, I really make canned fish. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> okay. <coughs> mm. Mm. They always got boogers and snot. Ugh, what is that? Moving. Not gonna I don't look that bad, but the snot and boogers look crazy. It looks like a flower and generates electricity at home. As long as you install it, you don't have to pay the electricity bill for the whole year. This is a small wind yeah. generator for home use, Liam 1, invented by a technology company from the Netherlands. It is equipped with a rotor structure inside, which allows the generator to accurately obtain the best angle according to the wind direction, and then rotate the blades driven by the wind, so as to convert the kinetic energy into electric energy. And even when the wind is not very strong, it can run at a super low wind speed of 5 meters per second. Although only 1.5 meters in diameter and weighing less than 100 kilograms, it can generate an average of 4 degrees of electricity per day, and nearly 1,500 degrees of electricity per year, which is enough to save a lot of electricity. In fact, there are many power generation devices like this one, such as this solar generator with the same principle as the sunflower, which can rotate according to the angle of the sun's irradiation. Although it is also very efficient, it has very high requirements for the weather, and it can't work at night or in rainy days. Or the more efficient wave power generator, which is installed on a pier, but also has the disadvantages of being susceptible to seawater erosion and high maintenance costs. In contrast, the Liam 1 generator is definitely more suitable for home use and is very easy to install, as it can be placed in various places, such as streetlight stands and on the roof of a house. It looks like a flower and generates electricity. Do people see what's happening in Dubai right now? They just got hit with two years worth of rain. So Dubai is underwater once again. You know when they speak about water or rain, they're speaking about money. I don't know about you, but 2024 is giving me that 2020 vibe all over again. I don't think the world ever recovered from 2019 and 2020. It got a little better, but now it's seeing like 2024, the same thing is happening all over again. There's a lot of questions we need to ask ourselves because we are having so many natural, so-called natural disasters all over the world. Are these natural disasters or is this harp? Do we really know what these chemtrails are really doing over top of our heads? We know that chemtrails is used to block out the sun, but are those chemicals actually doing something to us? The sad thing about this is, the people that control this matrix, they are so jealous of nature. Whatever nature want to do, they want to try to do. It's so weird. They put up a sun simulator. Why would you want to do this? Why would they want to block out the sun? If the sun give everybody life, why try to block the sun? Why create yeah. a sun simulator? 
Maybe they're not built to be under the sun. The reason why they are so jealous of nature and the sun is because they don't belong here. It's no mistake that Dubai is seeing over two years worth of rain in 24 hours. That's a lot of rain. We are going to keep seeing more storms like this around the world because these people that control the matrix, they messed up the balance. You just can't put a sun simulator up there and think nothing's going to happen. You can't just keep using harp and think nothing's going to happen. Right. These people messed up nature so bad, it's no telling what's going to happen next. Do people see what's happening in That's Dubai crazy, right now? Bro. Are they even able to con control the rain and stuff like that? It's crazy. Too much, too much, bro. Give it to Here's them. another video of Dubai flooding because of cloud seeding. Basically weather control, y'all. That's insane. This is insane. Like I said in my recent video about Dubai, cloud seeding slash weather control has been a thing since 1940. So it's been around for 60 years. This ain't nothing new. Honestly, the people in Dubai should make a fuss about this because due to cloud seeding and weather control, they have damaged people's stuff. People can't go to work. Flights is canceled and school is canceled. A lot of people is losing out on money just because they wanted to control the weather or manipulate the weather. Right. That's insane. They should definitely make a fuss about this. Cause that's not, that's not right. This is the epitome of cloud seeding going bad, really bad. This is ultimately bad. Weather control. This is where weather control can get people. Floods. Here's another video. Let's let's die, Balco. And this is really disgusting. And she's laughing. It's not funny, lady. Not funny. Man. This is what I see in water. Why is she laughing? Uh, that we think it's purified. Coming from the toilet. What the hell is this thing? What the hell is this thing? In the tax shop. What the hell is this thing? What the hell is this fucking thing? What the hell is this? That is so nasty. She's just laughing like it's not funny, bro. Oh, I have Oh, this one is Oh, this thing is going. Oh, Jesus. These people. I don't know who got you What? This is the water that they are selling for the people. In the name of oh. purified water. <laughs> and they are selling to the communities. My God. Our communities are just eating or drinking water that is coming from the oh island. <laughs> These people. That is disgusting. What do you think? Think is the number That's one crazy. addiction. Sugar can really like be that addictive. Your brain's just like, ah, oh, that was good. I gotta try that again. It's crazy. Man, that's just how it works, man. All right, y'all, man. This episode has come to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Got something from it. Stay here for like an hour and some minutes. I'm sending peace, abundance, prosperity, and good health your way. Be sure to get outside, especially if it's a good day, a good weather where you at. So be sure to do that for yourself and take care of yourself. With all that being said, I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.